Man, hey, thanks. Good to see you. Thanks, Thank you much. thanks for having me. Mike, we're in the middle of one of the greatest cities in the world. Yeah. And your album is called Love Song for a City. Yeah. What's the connect between the songs and the cities? What's in your mind? It was amazing that we spent two years on the road going to all these different places around the world. I think 20 countries in total. And we had the big task of taking a song from each city and, uh, and then piecing it together as though it felt like it was one record. It, you know, and the rhetoric is sort of like, oh, if God wrote a love letter to a city, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder what he would say yeah. to people. Um, it's a song from a record I made two years ago with a band called Army of Bones, yeah. which is a project that yeah. we worked on. One of the songs on there was Love Song for a City, and I thought, I want to kind of pull that into more of the church stuff or the worship stuff, whatever we call it. I want to pull that more in. When we sing, we, we are singing to God, you know, we are, but we're also singing over the places that we live. For me, the heart and the statement behind it is, look, look, if you're out there, you love God, you love church, you're playing in church, you're leading worship, you're singing, whatever it is, you can do that, but you can also do the other stuff. You know, the, the, that gift that God gave you is not just for a Sunday morning, it's, it's for your city. Yeah, so it, you, you're, you're supposed to be singing a love song over your city, over your village, over your road, over your school. Wherever you are, keep singing those songs.